Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, before we start today's video, I just want to get out of the way. You know, a bit of isolation. It's actually my day off today, so it's actually kind of nice to pop, take the gloves off, have no mask on, and not have to worry as much. So I'm leaving the car behind, or the truck. Got the dogs. I'm going to go for a nice long walk, and when I get somewhere nice and quiet, we'll do a vlog. So let's go. Go a bit further. And I'll try to remember what I had to say. A fairly senior guy just went past me on his bicycle. And it's, it was completely like innocent, so I'm not picking on the guy in any way, so don't get me wrong. But I stood to the side. <laughs> After I stood to the side, he went past, I went, thank you. But I'm sure I felt the wind of his thank you. And I kind of made that face and turned away really quickly. So it was like this, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, cyclists, <laughs> just put your hand up and say thanks. You don't have to say, you don't have to shout thank you if you're out of breath. Just. Just put your hand up, it's good. Hey everybody, my name is Nigel Hay. This is my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a This Is Niagara COVID-19 update. Uh, as part of my YouTube channel, I do uh, videos of various things, travel, aviation, weather. And I started a new feature a few months back called This Is Niagara, where I meant to go out and explore the region, take it all in, but it got cut short because of a certain virus that broke out. So I started doing uh, updates of the virus in the region, keeping people informed. and. That's what we're going to do today. On today's video, we'll be talking about the latest updates from the region, the province, and we'll also discuss a little bit about my last video, <laughs> the busted one. It's kind of controversial, but a lot more people liked it than what I thought. latest COVID-19 figures have just been released and they're still very discouraging. Uh, unfortunately for the Niagara region, they haven't been released and updated just yet, but I can give you the Ontario ones very, very shortly. But before I go into that, I just want to mention something that I noticed on Friday as a news report and I looked into it a bit further, which is about the Niagara region public health and a statement they've made stating that they are no longer going to start letting us know about the deaths in our region or the thinking about it. Well, I can tell you right now, I went on their website today to get an update and it just shows us how many cases, but they're no longer telling us how many deaths are now in our region. That is bloody ridiculous. I call that bollocks, absolute bollocks. And the, the Niagara region has to inform its residents of the deaths. I don't care if you're protecting them. What is it to protect? I don't need to know the name. I don't need to know their address or anything like that. I just need to know where they came from, which region, did they come from Niagara region, male or female, did they die of COVID-19 or with COVID-19? Because there's two big differences there, of and with. And that's a statistic that I would like to know. But, and I quote, I'm going to say this, I'm going to quote this, Niagara's acting medical officer of health, Dr. Mustafa Haraji, uh, said on Friday, he is more concerned with presenting statistics that inform the public of the risk posed by COVID-19, including the number of travel-related infections, community-based transmissions, than in disclosing when someone has died. We need to know the full facts. The region of Niagara needs to be very transparent right now. By not reporting deaths, all you're doing is sending the wrong signal out. A lot of people will think this is over. It's not as serious. You can't get any more serious than death. Right, yesterday was our biggest spike in Ontario. We had 351 cases. Well, just a couple of hours ago, they just announced uh, another 260 cases throughout the whole of Ontario, bringing us up to 1,966 cases right across the province. All right, as for the Ontario reporting of cases, it does seem like a rather low number in, com in comparison to a few places. But I just want to quote someone. This is Dr. Jennifer Kwan, who I found on uh, on Twitter, she posted this, uh, cases underreported due to limited testing and delayed testing results. Uh, potential mild COVID-19 cases not tested, advised to self-isolate, no testing of potential uh, 
asymptomatic, uh, sorry, asymptomatic, <laughs> I can't even say that, asymptomatic um, COVID-19 patients. Cases after 4 p.m. The, the day prior, not even counted as well. So those figures we keep getting are off and not that many people are being tested like they are in many other places. So we've got to keep that in mind. Okay, I just checked, they just updated it. We now have 47 cases in Niagara. Uh, seven have been uh, resolved, which means they have recovered, which means 40 haven't. And they are not, they are, repeat, they are not telling you if there's any deaths. I can tell you right now there's been two. We do have two fatalities, two deaths in our region. And like I said, for some God unknown reason, why they want to not let us know this is just beyond me. Um, if, you, if you feel the same as, as me, please put it in the comments below. Uh, get in touch with the Niagara region and let them know. You, you, we want to know the facts. We want transparency in our region of what is going on. We don't need it sugar coating and to stop scaring people. No, we need people to be scared and start reacting and taking it seriously. The quicker we get this over and done with, the quicker we knuckle down and stay home, the quicker we can go back to our lives. Plain and simple. Uh, just across the border, uh, New York State. Don't forget, uh, Niagara region, most part of our region is a border town. We uh, border New York State. <coughs> and I can tell you right now, New York State, who they currently have over 1,200 deaths right across the state with over 10,000 people hospitalized. That is a lot of people and it's getting worse. And I, all right, speaking of America, did you see the uh, video that was made of the calendar and Donald Trump? If not, I'll play it for you right now. This is quite interesting. We have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China. We think we have it very well under control. We pretty much shut it down coming in from China. You know, in April, supposedly, it dies with the hotter weather. When it gets warm, uh, historically, that has been able to kill the virus. The people are getting better. They're all getting better. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And you'll be fine. Uh, they're going to have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. Not only the vaccines, but the therapies. Therapies is sort of another word for cure. You're talking about very small numbers in the United States. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. It's really working out and a lot of good things are going to happen and we are responding with great speed and professionalism it's going to go away yeah no i don't take responsibility at all we're going to all be great we're going to be so good this came up it, it we came up so suddenly this is a pandemic i felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic all you had to do is look at other countries the coronavirus you know that right? coronavirus and this is their new hoax we're 15 people in this massive country and because of the fact that we went early, we went early. We could have had a lot more than that. We're doing great. Our country. <sighs> Apparently, I pissed a few people off last week with my uh, video entitled Busted. Yeah. No apologies there. Uh, I can't let you know, uh, when I posted the video, I knew it was going to be controversial. I did get quite a lot of downed uh, thumbs pretty quickly, uh, but the up thumbs did outweigh them. Um, we also got a lot of negative comments, and but eventually the positive ones outweighed them by a lot. And I was quite surprised. I actually got quite a lot of um, messages directed directly sorry, directed right at me via Messenger, my Facebook, and so on, uh, saying thank you for the video. And this even came from employees who work for the stores Michaels. I'm talking Burlington and places like that. If you don't like what you see on my channel, go away. I don't need you. Go on, bug off. Simple as that, all right? I just want this to be over and done with like everyone else. I want normality. Kind of miss shaking hands with people. What do you miss? What do you miss the most out of this? Me? It's greeting people. All right, how you doing? Shaking the hands. I miss that. And oh, my dogs are splashing around. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh dear. Someone's got to get a towel. What's going on? Where are you? Good boy, Mumford. Good boy.